Whoa, what a crazy perspective. Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. Today we're gonna go to the tip top of the huge island. For reals this time, anyway. We're basically gonna get to the top of the island. We did that in a small island, but that's not a challenge at all because that island is so small. Now, we're gonna go over here and we have the help of a cannon from that the bomb buddy, but I don't think we're gonna use it. Let's just go this way and do this scary wind riding again because Jeez, is that terrifying if you've never seen it before. Yeah, just jump. The wind makes a comfy ride. It makes a comfy ride, especially for something that's invisible. That does not look friendly. It looks like it's going to kill you. That's not too far off. Okay, uh, here we go, and we're already, like, right here anyway. And there's a pipe there, you can just climb here on the small side. And then just get up there. What's gonna stop you? This Chuck you? He's not even in- he's not even looking at me. Okay, now he is. Let us continue. We get up here, and there's a box. And you're all like, well, what's in this box? Well, it's a star, of course. I think I did that wrong. Yeah, I did that wrong. Whatever. Let's just go. 99 stars. What is going to be our 100th star? Let's save and continue and find out. Dive into the painting. Rematch with Koopa the Quick. Nice. This is a nice fitting star. It's a sequel to the earliest star you can get in the game, besides the, uh, the King bob -omb. It's the second star of the bomb Battlefield, which is the first level in the game. You should already know this, so let's go up here and do a rematch with this guy, Koopa the Quick. Except he's not very quick. It's kind of hard here because the wind helps you out. That's probably his reasoning, like, I can beat Mario here, I've got the wind on my side. Well, the thing is, even though it pushes me and it doesn't push him, what kind of logic is that? His logic is that the wind is not going to affect him somehow, and then guess what? The wind doesn't affect him in the race, because it's just a game. And I'm trying to bring logic here again, and let's not do that. Stomp on you. Let's stomp on you. No, wait. You have a star. Let's see what he says. Long time no see. Wow, have you gotten fast? Have you been training on the sly? Have you been training on the sly? Or is it the power? What does that mean? I've been feeling down about losing the last race. This is my home course. How about a rematch? The goal is in Windswept Valley. Windswept Valley. Now there is a... There's something I would have never known if I would have, wouldn't have raced that guy. It actually sounds pretty cool. I wonder if all the levels have these, like, hidden names, like Windswept Valley. Probably not. Anyway, that's the wind I was talking about. It didn't help. It didn't hinder my progress in the slightest, although he is a little faster, I guess. No way, you beat me, again, and I just spent my entire savings on these new Koopa Mach 1 Sprint Shoes. Here, I guess I have to hand over this star to the winner of the race. Congrats, Mario. Well, I have Mach 2 shoes. Although you wouldn't know it. Because they look like, I don't know, brown loafers. They're not, they're Mach 2 shoes. So let's go back in and we're Mystery Star. Because I don't know what it is. Wigglers, red coins. Okay, the the red coin mission. You know what that means, right? That's right. It's also a hundred coin challenge. Luckily, the hundred coin challenge is really easy because there's a lot of coins in here. And here's a pole you can run around. Couple times to get a couple coins. 
And all the Goombas, all the big Goombas you can stomp to get uh, a 5 coin bonus. Plus, there's a blue switch in the level, which I think only gives you two blue coins, but it seems every enemy in this level... Not every enemy, but most of the enemies give you blue coins. Alright. Here's another one. And once I get... I'm just gonna kill all the giant Goombas first, because they're uh, a nice source of blue coins, and that's kind of ridiculous, making it a bit too easy. It doesn't matter, I don't mind. Especially because of uh, the challenge that comes ahead in the next level. The 100 coin challenge for level 14 is kind of... yeah... You'll find out when you get there. When we get there. Because we're playing this together because this is Let's Play and... Again, we're playing this one, Super Mario 64. Let's kill this Goomba. And another blue coin. We're already at 47 coins. Now, if you're wondering where all the red coins are, or who the hell is Rick Wiggler, and what is he doing with my red coins, well... Wiggler is a Wiggler, I guess. That That is what he is. He's a caterpillar, and he's the boss of this island, and let's, let's, uh, let's do that, because it was really funny the first time when I did it in Tall Tall Mountain, I just had to do it again. Every time I think, this is going out great, something happens. I suppose I should take better care of myself, I should look out more often, watch out for that boulder out for that clue. No, that's not fun. Let's just run through everything with ill regard to my well-being. I have nine lives. Who cares? Well, it is kind of annoying doing... What am I saying? Yeah, it is kind of annoying. It's really kind of annoying to do this again. All right, blue coin. Thank you. Let's go down here for more blue coins and that guy, which I hate. Because he's very annoying. He shoots fire. Anything that shoots fire or sets you on fire in this game, I've grown to really hate. Alright, let us continue. At least once I do it the first time, I can do it the second time a little bit faster. Hello Goombas, I see you. Surprised I didn't fall off here, actually. I think I almost did. Yeah, yeah, like that. Anyway, we only got a yellow coin out of this guy, but it's not a big deal. There's so many coins in this level. There's, like, at least 140. No coin shortage. It's not like... Uh, I'm trying to think what level has a coin shortage in it. Well, the Hazy Maze Cave, but... Jeez. Let's stop talking about the Hazy Maze Cave. I hate it. Ah, damn it. Another... Another coin. Another blue coin I have missed. We want all the coins we can have. We're like... This is Super Wario 64. Get over there. Five coins just for me. Okay, let's uh, go up here. Are there any coins in this water area up here? There might be. There is absolutely nothing up here. Let's dive down randomly. Oh, cool, I found some Goombas. There's a nice 10 coins if I can actually stomp on them. There we go. Can I activate a 1-up? I guess I did. Here, I'll collect it anyway. Let's take a quick detour on the tiny side of the island for a little bit more coins. There are Goombas here. You, you gotta stomp on them. If they run into you like that, they really shouldn't be running into me. 
And if they run into you like that, you get no coins at all. Oh my god. Get up there. Thank you. So let's navigate this tiny island for a bit and try to stomp on microscopic Goombas. It's not really working out too well for me. There we go. I can go into the uh, red coin area now. Although if I got those blue coins out of those Goombas, I would have gotten 100 stars already. Oh well. So where are the eight red coins at? They're over here. They're somewhere over here. I'll find them. You have to go into this... There it is. You have to go into, like, a cave. From a bridge. And it's kind of odd. And I just... Missed my exit. Can I get back up there? Might have to take a cannon. Yeah, where's that cannon? Where's the cannon? Yeah, you can either jump from the top down there, or you can take this cannon. Which, I don't know how to aim. Let's hope I don't fly off the map. Yeah, where am I supposed to shoot myself to? Let's shoot there and hope for the best. Alright. Come on, I want, I want my blue coin. Thank you. Alright, let's walk on this uh, tiny, tiny bridge. Okay, 100 coins on the bridge. That sounds, that sounds like an official star. 100 coins on the bridge. It sounds terrible. But it does sound like an official star. So anyway, red coin time. They're all in here. They're Wiggler's red coins because you can see Wiggler up there just walking around. I don't know what he's doing. He's not causing anyone any harm, but we're gonna fight him for no reason for the last star of this level. Anyway, these red coins, they look, pr they look pretty challenging on your first try. They're not on your other tries unless you do that. Which I knew I was going to do. And let's repeat the Hazy Maze Cave and die a bunch of times. That's why I got the 100 coins first. So anyway, we're gonna go back here and see if we can get the red coins before time is up, so I'm gonna have to do something that I don't normally do, which is friggin' jet as fast as I can over here, because I only have like two minutes. So let's uh, show off my best speed running skills. I'm either going to succeed splendidly, fail miserably, or just not get anything done at all. I'm hoping it's not the third option. Okay, it might be the third option, because I didn't get that cannon shot aimed correctly, and... Yeah, this is just... the last two minutes is just gonna be a hilarious montage of me failing... a bunch of times, and that... that thing just... get out of my face! Okay, yeah, yeah, let's 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 do that. With one minute left, I have about a minute. There's absolutely nothing I can do. But I'm determined to get up there, at least inside the cave, at least. Come on. There we go, let's Yeah, let's go, let's go inside the cave. We can start off here next time. Inside the cave. Oh, Jeez, yeah, montage of me failing. Okay, I'm just gonna call it an episode because I've done enough harm for one for one day. Let's punch let's punch the Koopa Troopa for a good measure. Okay, I'll see you next time.